Hi everyone and welcome to another Doctor Who character building series 2 figure review by me Mega Shorts and as you can see today I'm going to be reviewing one of the figures from this wave which is actually from series 5 and as you can see it is the vampire from the series 5 episode The Vampires of Venice. Now I got this figure recently from Toys R Us for $1.99, I think it's a really nice figure. This figure is based upon one of the vampire girls we saw in the Vampires of Venice episode. And before we start going into detail about the figure, we're going to quickly go through the packaging as usual. Okay, so the front is just normal for character building series 2 packaging. You've got a picture of the majority of the wave at the front, along with the new Dot 2 logo and the character building logos. Then on the back, you've got the same usual product and company information and the bag or packet also comes with a little leaflet showing all the figures from series 2 of the character building line other than the super rare figures and also some pictures of the play sets. Okay so that's it for the packaging and now we shall take a closer look at the scary vampire girl. Okay so here we have the vampire from the Vampires of Venice. Now this figure uses the same torso and lower body sculpt as all the character building Reaping Angel figures but obviously the head sculpt is completely new. I think it's a nice addition to the character building line. Wasn't expecting to see it though, seeing as we never saw a vampire girl figure in the 5 inch figure range, but I still think it's a brilliant figure and I think it's a great addition to my collection as well. And as usual, we shall now go into the detail paperwork and sculpting of this nice figure. Okay, so here we have the head sculpt of the vampire girl figure. Now, I believe this vampire is meant to be the one that attacked the father of the girl who got taken at the start of the Vampires of Venice episode. And the head sculpt itself is absolutely brilliant. We can see that she looks really, really angry. She's frowning, she's got her vampire fangs sticking out there, and she really does look very scary. I think the fangs have been painted, well, printed on very nicely, and up close, the head sculpt on this figure looks absolutely fantastic, yet creepy at the same time. Has a very good likeness to the vampire, which I believe this figure is meant to be based on. The hair is pretty nice as well, it's been sculpted very nicely, looks very realistic, and it has been painted with a nice, accurate dark brown colour. Okay, so here we have the outfit of the vampire girl figure. Now, this is pretty much a very basic design. It's just one big light cream dress, but the detail and sculpting of it is absolutely brilliant. If we take a look at this part of the outfit, we can see lots of buttons going down the middle and lots of creases helping to make the figure look even more lifelike and accurate. I did notice these on the outfits of the vampire girls in the Vampires of Venice, so I'm glad they put them on the figure. They look really good up close. They've been painted or printed on very nicely, even though they are really, really small. Now, there isn't any other detail around the rest of the outfit, really, which is absolutely fine because the buttons and creases is all the detail it needs, really. And if we take a look at the part of the dress which is on the lower half of her body, we can see that it's absolutely covered with creases, again, which helps to make the figure look even more lifelike. Okay, so that's all the basic detail of the Vampire Girl figure. Not one of the most highly detailed figures in the character building line, but in my opinion it has absolutely all the detail that it needs, and the sculpting detail and paintwork on this figure is absolutely superb, especially on her face and also her outfit. And now we shall quickly go on to articulation and then I shall gather my final thoughts on this nice little figure. Now the articulation on this figure is pretty much the same as that of any of the character building Weeping Angel figures. The head can do a full 360 degree turn and you've got the same basic arm and hand articulation and also a 360 degree turn at the waist. Articulation is absolutely fine in my opinion, they couldn't have done better with it at all. And now it's time for me to gather my final thoughts on this figure. So overall I think the character building vampire girl figure is a very nice addition to my Dot 2 character building figure collection. It is a really nicely highly detailed figure 
Again, the paint work and sculpting is absolutely superb, and the attention to detail on the outfit is absolutely brilliant as usual. The outfit altogether looks very accurate to the outfits we saw the vampire girls wearing during the Vampires of Venice. Again, I think the head sculpt looks absolutely brilliant up close with all those scary features, and the articulation is absolutely fine as usual. And if I was to give the vampire girl from the Vampires of Venice a rating out of 5, I'd say I'd give her a 4.9 out of 5. She's a great addition to the line and a really great figure, but I do think the figure could have been better if perhaps it came with a swappable head with a neutral facial expression, so we could have her with one head where she just looks like a normal human, and then one like this where she looks like an attacking vampire. But it still is a brilliant figure, and that little dislike is only a tiny one for me, and I'd still highly recommend this figure to anyone who's currently collecting Doctor Who character building figures. Okay, so that is pretty much it for this for YouTubers. My next character building figure review will be of the Silence from the Impossible Astronaut and Day of the Moon, and also Series 2 of the character building line. Thanks for watching YouTubers, and I shall see you again soon. And remember, if you want to know what my next videos are, please check out my channel comment section for regular updates.